Morning. I am here on my final day and second to final workout. So I've got an hour of rowing to later. I'm doing the 15 by 500 meter intervals now. I don't know who I was last night saying to Cam I was going to do 135 splits. No, I'm not. Let's see how they go. I'm going to try and set off a pace I can sustain for the first five and just see if I can keep it for the final 10. Or I might even try and speed up if I set off like a baby, which I probably will. So we'll see how they go. I'll record a few of them and then I'll let you know my scores at the end. But let's get this done. <laughs> Did exactly what I said I shouldn't do. <laughs> All right, let's hope I don't die. Averaged 138.6. All right. <sighs> they were horrible, really hard. Um, but they're done. So thank you, rowing machine, for making me appreciate not rowing. Something to bear in mind. Hello, YouTubers. We've made it to the last day of training where we see if the average gym gore Adam can do my whole training program for the week. Adam, I think, has probably already finished his first workout on the rowing machine. My first workout today is going to be on the water and a little bit different than usual. I'm going to get in a sweep boat, so I'm going to have one oar versus having two oars that I've been using over the past sort of couple of years. So it's going to be a little bit of a change and I'm kind of interested to see how it's going to feel because it's been such a long time before I've been on the water in a sweep boat. But the water's absolutely beautiful this morning, so it's time to go enjoy it. And we've made it back off the water into the van after a fantastic session with Matthew in the pair. Like I said earlier, that's the first time I've been in a pair for a long time. And it was, fortunately, just like riding a bike. Took a little bit to get used to at the start, but then kind of fell right into the rhythm of it and really enjoyed the session in the pair. And now, as always, after any session, it's time to fuel up because remember, food is fuel. And then we get to hop onto the rowing machine and give it some yam for some 15 500s. Oh, it's gonna be a stinger. So, on the way to the rowing club now, um, those intervals have kind of taken out my legs a bit, but uh, I think it's just a gentle row. Hopefully getting a double with Dave again, because that was great, um, and just do an hour of paddling, trying to do like six, seven K would be good. And finally, this afternoon, I am going out for the day with my fiance, who I have completely ignored the entire week, so. <laughs> You know, it's that balance of life is like, what do you want to give up to be able to do something else? Because there are so many hours in the day. And if I wanted to train like Cam every week and do my job, 
I wouldn't have the time to do the other things that I enjoy, uh, spending time with the people that I want to, for example. So um, this afternoon, I am hopefully going to make up the rest of the week and go out for a nice day out. So I don't think I'll vlog that. I might do. We're going to Weatherby Races. So I'll see you later on. Looking good today. Very nice. So I just finished my last rowing session of the challenge. That last session of the challenge. Weird to think. Um, what do I think about this week? <laughs> it's just been so hard. Um, I have really enjoyed it. Like I do love exercise, love rowing, love cycling, I love the gym. You know, it's something that is my hobby, my passion. But also there were points where I thought, God, this sucks. <laughs> And I do think that people don't realize just what goes into elite sport. You know, you cheer people on at the Olympics, you watch people that you follow and are fans of play the sport at kind of like the end stages, which is the main competitions or a game or a match, whatever it might be. And you don't think about the training week in, week out and just what they have to do to sustain that level, not just to get to that level, but to sustain that level and it's incredible you know it's one of those things that I I didn't underestimate I knew it was gonna be hard but experiencing it is very different to kind of thinking about how it might feel and I can confirm it felt hard <laughs> so I'm gonna go home now have some food do what I need to do oh I've got some silbets do what I need to do and then I'm gonna enjoy my afternoon maybe have a beer that's it from me. And we've made it on to the rowing machine. 15 500s, slightly higher pace than the 1500s that we did earlier on in the week. So this is gonna hurt, but hopefully for the first few, you know, sort of building through and then going roughly from the seventh, eighth onwards will be just a case of doing it one by one and trying to hold on. This is going to be a tough workout. Let's see if I can get all the way through it without too much of a hassle. And we've just made it almost halfway. Not quite as stingy as that first one, just easing into it, pushing it on just a little bit by a little bit, each rep, seeing if I can continue for the whole set. Feeling okay now? Will I be saying that at the end of the workout? We'll soon find out. And we've finished the last workout of the week. So I know what I can do for this one. And the next time I do this workout, I know what to do. Curious to how Adam managed on this one, but that will be it for all of the workouts for this week. For the challenge, can an average gym goer do the same training program that I'm doing? And that will be it for this episode, following the training throughout the whole week. We're gonna have another episode where Adam and I are gonna have a chat, sit down and go over the whole week in just a dedicated episode. See what he learned, see if I, what I learned and see 
if I can give you guys or Adam can give you guys any tips if you wanted to maybe not so much try the training that I'm doing but if you want to get to be able to be doing the training I'm doing maybe we'll have some tips to give you but as always Yam Squad remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button hopefully you enjoyed this different type of video let me know in the comments below if you did and if you have any ideas to improve this video or other ideas to make videos of. And I'll see you in the next episode.